and um, thank you very much for joining us today. We're live across the planet, as always, on my live broadcast, which you're free to join us on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter. And so, um, yeah, so listen, getting straight into this uh, bank holiday weekend live broadcast. Today, I thought I'd talk about another very, very popular subject, right, which is this. Oops, let me scratch my back here. There we go. Uh, at least you know I'm alive. It's live. It's all right. Okay, so here we go. So today, we're going to have a look at this. Septic tank soak away regulations. All right, so this is a very popular hot topic at the moment. Septic tank soak away regulations. All right, so if you don't know, then I'm just going to remind you really briefly. All right, on the 1st of January. Uh, 2020, I have to think about that for a minute. On the 1st of Jan 2020, the, some of the biggest changes this country has seen in the last 300 years comes into effect, right? And it's called the General Binding Rules or the Septic Tank Ban, which many people are calling it, all right? And uh, so if I just put this here, okay? So, and you can look all this stuff up on the government's website that I'm about to show you. You can look at all this stuff that I'm about to show you on the government website, but I'm just basically, there you go, septic tank ban 2020. But all that I'm trying to do uh, by means of this broadcast is just summarize all the changes that are coming into force. But I want to give you some really, really, really good news. It's as simple as that. All right, <clears throat> many people across about the septic tank ban that's coming into force. It's stressing some people out. Many people want to shoot the messenger. I'm telling them the septic tank ban's coming and they're like, no, you're a liar, you're a charlatan, get lost. We don't want to know you, who are you? Stop trying to scare us. Well, listen, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just trying to um, uh, inform people, make them aware of a situation that's looming in a few months time. And so the whole point of this broadcast isn't to stress you out. It's not to worry you. It's not to bully you into buying something off me, all right? I'm just giving you some free advice and free information. That's all this broadcast is. So if you're a septic tank owner, if you're a sewage treatment plant owner, if you've got a cesspit, something like that, then you need to watch this broadcast because it will help you. It will benefit you, all right? So it's as simple as that. Full stop. All right, so I'm going to get straight into this. So let me explain what the septic tank ban is all about okay so let me just get my little rubber here and rub that off okay there we go there we go all right so basically here you've got a house obviously it's a house um and many places will have a septic tank connected to the property so basically as you probably know maybe you don't know <clears throat> or in places where there's no main sewers, you have to have a septic tank or something of that description, right? And so all the wastewater from your property, such as your bath water, your shower water, your bidet water, dishwasher, washer, whatever, you get the point, right? It all leaves the property and it leaves down the pipe here. So it all leaves the pipe here and it goes into the septic tank. There you go. So that is full of sewage. Sewage wastewater, okay? Wastewater. All right, so that's pretty self-explanatory up to now. Now, many septic tanks are discharging into water courses, and these are the ones, these, these septic tanks are the ones that the government are particularly targeting on the 1st of Jan 2020, okay? So here's your water course. So look, if I put that on here. There's your water course. And by water course, I mean a river, a stream, a ditch, a culvert, a brook. Whether it's dry, whether it's partially dry, whether it's got water in it, from the 1st of January 2020, 
right? Septic tanks that discharge sewage wastewater into a watercourse will become illegal. So, I just put that because you'll get the point here. Illegal on the 1st of Jan 2020. There we go. All right. Okay. So it's pretty straightforward, isn't it? <clears throat> if you're within 15 meters of a watercourse or whether you're 100 meters away, and you go into a watercourse, if, you, if your septic tank goes into a watercourse, full stop, then on the 1st of Jan 2020, your septic tank and soak away will become illegal. That's the law. Okay, Whether you like it or not, that's what's happened. All right. So now at this point, you've normally got two options because the government say, if this is you, and their government inspectors come around. It's called the septic tank ban. Let me explain why it's called the septic tank ban. Because many people, many people don't septic tan ban. Wow, well, imagine they, a septic tan, right? <laughs> well, there would definitely be some complaints if there was, they banned tans all right but anyway it's called the septic tank ban okay so it's called the septic tank ban and many people don't like that expression that term but it's it fits fits it beautifully the government inspectors will come round <coughs> and they'll see after the first of jan or even before right and they'll see that if they see or find that your septic tank is discharging in the water course on the government website says they will give you two options number one You've got to repair your system or you've got to replace it. So let's just start with replacing it, right? To replace, in fact, I had someone ring me up the other day last week. They said, Jason, I saw your video about the septic tank ban. Um, you know, we've been, we've got to, you know, stop it discharging into the watercourse. And we've been quoted 15,000 pounds. Now, many companies, are taking advantage of the septic tank ban in the sense of they'll come around, they go, oh, yeah, your system is illegal. What you need to do, mate, is we need to put a new system in for you. And it's, you know, it's that or nothing. And, yeah, all the quotes are anywhere from like twelve to £22,000. That's a hell of a lot of money. So don't be shocked or surprised if you get quotes from 12 to 22,000 pound to replace your septic tank and soak away system with some kind of say an electric sewage treatment plant something like that so that's one option another option people will give you will be say well look let me relocate the septic tank and the soakway for you, or relocate the soakway if that's possible to do. Number one, um, and again, you'll still get quotes for like seven, eight, nine, ten thousand pounds. So, and many firms are on the internet at the moment saying, Oh, all septic tanks are going to be made illegal if you've got a septic tank, uh, or you know someone who's got a septic tank and they're not replacing it with our sewage treatment plant, then you better ring the police and ring straight and standards. And, you know, no, 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 no. It's a load of basically advertising. <laughs> they're advertising by misinformation. They're scaring or bullying people into a knee-jerk reaction. Oh my gosh, we better spend fifteen thousand quid with this company because they've said that septic tanks are illegal and everyone's going to die. And it's just a load of rubbish, right? But what is a fact is that the government on the first of Jan want you to remedy the situation and the reason i've made this broadcast is because i want to show you a really really simple simple and legal and easy way to remedy your septic tank and soak away if it's discharging into watercourse maybe it's not discharging into watercourse maybe it's 
and the soakaway is 15, uh, 10 meters away from the watercourse. The point is that this is really good what I'm about to show you. It'll save you a lot of money, save you a lot of time, save you a lot of hassle. And um, it means you won't have to fork out 10, 15, 20, 30,000 quid because, you know, someone hasn't given you all the facts. All right, so let me just, um, two seconds. Let me just uh, get rid of this. There we go, and get rid of that. Right, now, oh, I've rubbed out some of the grass, but that's all right. It's all right, it's all right. Oh, no, where's my, um... aha, hold on. At least you know this is live, right? All right. All right, here we go. So that dries everything off there. Okay. All right. So, pocket there. So let's just put the grass back here. All right. So I'm going to show you a really simple solution to remedy your septic tank and soak away, so you make it fully compliant with all the new septic tank soak away regulations coming into force. As we've seen, you can repair, replace your system with a, an electric sewage treatment plant that's going to cost you. I don't know, 15,000 quid to repair, cost you 1,500 quid a year to run. So they're expensive solutions, but look at this one, right? You can get something called a septic tank converter. <clears throat> This is absolutely amazing what I'm about to show you, right? Septic tank converter, right? They are non-electric. Let me just put that there. Non-electric septic tank converter. And basically, they go in between the septic tank and the soak away, right? And they convert the sewage water into safe clean into a safe clean discharge that the government fully approves of right and it will make your septic tank fully legal and it, let me show you how it works where is my so okay, okay so these units are really small right septic tank con converter they're called right and they go in between yeah. and they're made for the diy market which means you build it or you can install it it's called the ecosystem right septic tank converter oh they're amazing right and it's a, like a little black box if you want to call it that and it sits here and it goes there and it looks something like that okay let's put the grass back now all right, so there, here, there it is. Look at that. In fact, look, ba -da! if I do a big arrow to there, there it is. Look at that. Septic tank converter. And there it is. It's amazing. So what happens is, right, all the horrible, smelly, toxic wastewater, right, leaves all the house, goes into the septic tank as normal. By the way, if you've got an existing septic tank, right, if it's made of brick, if it's made of concrete, nine times out of ten, they're fine. Don't let anyone replace your septic tank just because it's brick and it's concrete and it's 100 years old. Those septic tanks are the best kind of septic tanks in the world. Unless it's collapsed, right, or you've had an earthquake and it's subsided, then nine times out of ten, they don't need replacing, okay? So there's your septic tank. It's filled with all the wastewater. The wastewater then leaves, right? the septic tank, and it makes its way through the pipe into the converter. And it fills up here. It's then treated and it's converted into safe, clean liquid compost. Right? And then that can discharge directly, oops, it's the wrong color. Then it can discharge directly into a water course and it's safe and it's clean. Okay, and if you want to see a septic tank converter, just go to, let's see if I can get this right, just go to 
septictank.co.uk. If you're wondering why I'm looking over there, everything, when you do these live broadcasts, everything's back to front and downs up and left's right and right's left and here's there and there's here. So here we go. So yeah, go to septictank.co.uk and you'll see the septic tank converters there, okay? And I, as I said, so it's government approved. What do I mean by that? Well, the septic tank converter, let me get my little board rubber here. A septic tank converter, for it to be legal in England, Ireland, Scotland, or Wales, has to have an EN12566-3 certificate or certification. Some people moan at me, it's not a certificate. Okay, okay, it's not a certificate. Scone and scone and scone and scone, either, either, whatever, right? The point is, it's legal, yeah? So, it, um, the ecosystem, let me just put it there, all right? It's called an ecosystem. Ecosystem. Septic tank converter. It comes with a certification. All right, there you go. The EN12566-3. And it's non-electrical, so there's no moving parts in there. You've got no cogs or bearings or pulleys or motors or compressors, like an electric sewage system, right? So it doesn't break down, right? It doesn't need any maintenance, right? <coughs> and they're like 2,990 quid. So they're like 10, 15, 20,000 pounds cheaper than having to replace your septic tank and your soak away, right? So that is my tip. That's, well, I've got two tips of the day for you, right? That's my first tip of the day. Get your, If this is you and you're worried and it's stressing you out, get yourself a septic tank converter. Full stop. You can put an electric sewage treatment plant in if you want. Go and spend 10, 15, 20, 30,000 quid, right? Because you're going to ring everyone up, right? You're going to ring all these companies up and they're all going to say that their systems are the best and everyone else's is rubbish, right? Don't listen to them. Listen to me. Buy my thing. Buy my thing. Well, I'm not doing that, right? What I'm trying to do is show you, look, you can replace your system you can get sewage treatment plant or or you can just buy yourself a little septic tank converter that costs you next to nothing compared to all the other quotes and it's fully legal and it's um comes from the government there you go that's my first tip of the day now this next tip that i'm about to show you will save you thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds and this tip is free the solution is free, right? I don't want your money. I don't want this. I don't want this. This whole live broadcast is free because I want to help you make your septic tank legal. So let me show you one more thing here, right? Let me show you this. Now, this septic tank, this, um, this septic tank tip that I'm about to show you, is so good. It's so, so, so good. That when you see me, you'll buy me a pint or two. Maybe even buy me a Jack Daniels and Coke with the pint. Who knows? But look, let me tell you. So let's just go back to here. All right. So that's your grass. All right. And so this is for every septic tank owner. All right. So let me just extend the pipes here. Okay, so that's just going to a soakway. It doesn't matter where that's going to, right? This is this has got to do with your septic tank <coughs> um, more than your soakway, okay? So we've moved on now. All right, so that's your septic tank. So I'll just put this septic tank. There we go. And here is a soak away. Okay. Don't know why I've put those in inverted brackets, but uh, speech marks. But anyway, septic tank and soak away. Okay, so here we go. So I'm just going to put this on here, right? This is tip two. Tip two. And it really comes into effect when you come to sell your property, whether you're a builder, whether you're a septic tank owner, whether you've had a tank for one day, for a week, for a year, for a hundred years, right? 
this is a serious tip you need to listen to. Right? You don't have to listen to it, but it will save you thousands of pounds. I saved someone last week 15,000 quid just by giving them this free tip. All right, so when you come to sell your house, this tip is a big one. Because of the 2020 ban that's coming into force on the 1st of Jan 2020, okay, the solicitors of the people representing the people buying a house will ask you what is somewhere in all the fine print and all the legal documentation, they'll ask you what sewage system you've got. And obviously, if you've got a septic tank, and you've got a soak away, they're like, uh huh. And they'll say, okay, we want some more information about your septic tank and your soak away. We want to know. And, that be and this is where it starts to become a pain in the backside. And what I'm about to show you, right, does people's heads in. Not what I'm about to say, but the, but the, the sharp practice or this particular uh, route that they have to go down, legal route now in explaining the kind of system that they have, does people's heads in it. And it ends up with them losing 10, 15, 20,000 quid. So the solicitor will ask you, how much room have I got on there? The solicitor will ask you, uh, what system? You've got. They'll ask you the condition of the system. Condition. They'll ask you the capacity about the system. They'll ask you what maintenance you carry out on it, whether it's been repaired, repairs, servicing. All right, so these things, and there's more, but I'm just giving you a point here, right? These are the kind of things that they're going to ask you. And so when this happens, <clears throat> at this point, most people with a septic tank and soak away will say, oh, um, right. And they'll root around the drawers and they'll find um, some septic tank emptying receipts. And they'll give those to the solicitor. And the solicitor will look at them and they'll say, thank you very much. Um, but it's not enough. We want some detailed information with you of it. And you'll be like, well, the septic tank emptying man says it's fine. But unfortunately, that's not enough. So he'll go back away to his clients and he'll tell them what you've told him. And they'll say, well, all right, maybe they know what, don't know what a septic, maybe they've never had a septic tank before, right? And so logically, they're going to be like, hey, man, what is a septic tank? They'll research how it works, and they'll be like, oh, you've got to get empty and don't have a septic tank, don't buy a house with a septic. They'll get all this information, and, and maybe if they do know anything about septic tanks, they'll be like, oh, okay, how old is it? 50, put in in 1980, put in 30 years ago, 50 years ago. There's all this stuff going in their heads. So then they'll say, no, 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 We love the house, but what we've got to do, we're going to get a professional firm in to give us some quotes to put a new septic tank system in. So they'll go and do that and they'll get some quotes, right? And the quotes will be anywhere from like they've been 15, 20, 25,000 quid. So they'll come back to you, right? The person selling your house and the sell will want the, so their solicitor representing the people buying your house will say to you, um, they want to buy your house, but. They want to put a new septic tank and soak away system in. And the quotes that they've had are like from 15 to 20,000 pounds and more, right? And this is a practice that goes on. I'm forever getting people ringing me up, telling me they feel sick because they've got to drop their price price by 15, 20,000 quid. That's someone ring me up last week. He said, it only cost six grand. I've got a quote for six grand. How dare they? How this? How that? And you can understand it makes people angry, right? It makes people angry. But there's nothing you can do because I said to him, I said, look, okay, I understand. I get it. This is how I got into the business. I was trying to sell my house with a septic tank and so great. The solicitor was asking me all these awkward questions. And it's just like, no, you know. 
oh, I'm having to get it emptied every freaking week or every month or what? And, you know, it's just like negative, 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 and it just does your head in. And you just want the problem, and you just come to the point, you think, oh, gosh, stuff them. I'll just get someone else. But the trouble is, every time someone comes to buy your house, you have to go down the same route, and you have to explain yourself. You have to explain what system you've got, and you have to tell them this and that and this and that. Now, I said there was some good news in this, didn't I? That is one route you can go down. Or you can get yourself a government compliance form. They're free. Don't want a penny off you. These forms are free. What is on this form that will save you so much money? This form, right, it's got blanks on it. And, it, and you just fill them in. And it explains all that there. This is one of the requirements that everyone has to have after the 1st of January 2020, but it'll save you thousands of pounds because let me explain what happens now. Right? The solicitor representing the people comes to you again. They ask you all these questions and you don't have to go and rummage around for your septic tank emptying seats, right? You don't have to do that. What you just do is you hand them the government compliance form that you filled in. Go to my site, septic tank.co.uk there it is on the top left hand corner you'll see how to beat the septic tank ban download as many free copies as you want full stop put one in your kitchen put one in your utility room hand one to your solicitor people then give it to their solicitor and their solicitor will get it and it'll say all right this is the system that they've got this is how often they have it empty this is this is this is how often they this is the capacity of it. This is how often they serviced it. This is how often they've maintained it, blah, blah, so on. And they'll be like, wow. They'll then give that to his clients, right? And they'll be like, wow, this guy's responsible. It's, we trust this guy. And you know what you've just done there? You've just saved yourself 20, 15 to 20,000 pounds. The problem just disappears and goes away. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. I wish I'd like to make it more complicated for you, but that that government compliance will just let me get my dry thing here. Uh, septic tank government compliance form will save you thousands of pounds. Just go to the internet, right? You've got two options. You can go to the internet and type in septic tank ban. You'll find me there. Or you can just go... Uh, you can just go to type in septictank.co.uk. Just literally go to Google and type in www.septictank.co.uk. There you go. So, and that free form will help you to beat the septic tank ban so there you go so you can't tell me that this live broadcast wasn't good news for you today you can't tell me that i don't want your money Pull stop i'm just trying to give you solutions if you want some free information you want free help just go to uh, septictank.co.uk there you'll find tons of free information free videos there but most of all look if there's something if you're a septic tank owner and there's one thing that you've got to do one thing that you need to do please please Go and get yourself a free <laughs> government compliance form. Download as many copies as you want. As I said, lodge one with your solicitor. Put one in your utility room. Put one in your kitchen. Job done. Your system will be fully legal in that particular area. All right? So there you go. So, listen, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this live broadcast today. Listen, it looks beautiful out there. I'm looking out the window. I can see the blue sky and, oh, man, I should be somewhere other than in the office. But, look, I love helping people. And if this has helped you, then I said, didn't I? If you see me, you can buy me a pint or two or a nice Jack Daniels and Coke to go with my pint. But, listen, this is Jason from septic tank oh we're getting there slowly from septic tank.co.uk signing out now just one more reminder in case you have to you're thinking oh god i've got to re rewind and see what this guy said selling your house go and get yourself a free 
government compliance form. To see more information, just type in septic tank ban. Just type in septic tank ban on Google. It's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Or if you're a bit more um, proficient with using the internet, just go and type in www.septictank.co.uk. And as I said, download as many copies as you want. But listen, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this broadcast. Have a lovely, lovely bank holiday weekend. I'm signing off now and I'll see you, not tomorrow, not later, but I'll see you tomorrow for another live broadcast. You take care now.